Okay, so um, for today's video, we will be continue with the um, complex roots of quadratic and cubic equations. Okay, so if you look at the learning outcome for 9.2, uh, um, you need to learn how to solve a polynomial equation with complex roots. And then if the polynomial is having all the real coefficient, then non-real root, that means the complex roots, occur in conjugate pair. Okay, so uh, this is an important result that you must know. Lah. Okay, so polynomial, I think everyone should know about it. Lah. Okay, so polynomial, no problem. And then when they are having the real coefficient for the polynomial equation, real coefficient means that the value in front of x squared, x power 2, x power 3, all right, uh, all the values are real number. That means it is not complex number. Then the non-real root, non-real root means that complex root. Lah. All right, so the complex root will occur in one pair, in a pair, in the conjugate pair. All right, so for this part, I will try to um, show it to you later. Okay, but this is an important result for you to solve some of the question in the exam. All right, okay, so let's have a look for the beginning of this equation first. How are we going to solve the polynomial equation? All right, so here they say that a complex root of quadratic and cubic equation, so in uh, from now onwards, uh, because you already learned a complex number, right? So when you try to solve the quadratic equations or cubic equation, you cannot ignore the complex roots anymore. So you have to include the complex root in your solution. All right. So here they said for any polynomial equation with real coefficients, the complex root will occur in conjugate pair. Okay, so I will show this to you by using the example 6 later so that you understand better what does it means. And then to get the roots of cubic equation, you might need to apply the long division. So uh, it is something very similar to when you want to solve a, a cubic equation or quartic equation that we learned in chapter 1. right? You might need to apply long division. Uh, then you might need to learn how to factorize okay, or how to apply the quadratic formula to get the answer and so on. Right? Okay, and then for quadratic equation, you just apply the formula by solving the quadratic equation and the quadratic equation formula. Okay, to get the root or get the value for x. Alright, so it is a combination of long division on and also the formula when you want to solve the quadratic and cubic equation in complex number. Alright, okay, so we will discuss a few examples here. So let's have a look for example 6. All these are something very simple. Okay, so first of all, they, you look at part number one. They want you to find the root of this equation. So this is a quadratic equation, right? Okay, so they want you to write your answer in the form of x plus yi. So how can we get the root for this equation? Okay, so again, you assume that this is a quadratic equation. Ah. Alright, so if you try to factorize, you realize that you cannot factorize it actually. Therefore, to get the value for z, you just apply the quadratic formula, which is negative b. So negative b means negative, negative 1. So I hope that you still remember what is b, right? b is the value in front of the z. Okay. Then after that, plus minus b squared minus 4ac. So b squared is 1. b squared minus 4ac. Then divided by 2a. Alright, so just a reminder, a means the value in front of z squared, c is this one, the constant, constant term. Okay, so after you apply this in the formula, then you are having 1 plus minus, I think you should have square root negative 3 divided by 2. Okay, so maybe last time you will just stop here and then you write ignore like, because uh, square root negative 3 is a uh, mass error. Alright, but for now we need to actually try to continue. Alright, so if you continue to simplify, then you're having 1 plus minus uh, square root 3, 1 divided by 2. Okay? So if you have a look in detail for this answer, you have plus and minus, right? So that means so you have two answers here actually. 1 is 1 over 2 plus square root 3 over 2i. This is one of the root. Another one will be 1 over 2 minus square root 3 over 2i. So this is the value for z. Right? 
okay, the root of this quadratic equation. Okay, all right. So it's very simple because you just apply the formula for the quadratic equation, then you can straight away get the root. Okay, so now uh, I want to I want you all to have a look for all the coefficient in front of the z and z square. So if you look at this coefficient, this coefficient is one, right? It is a real number. Then this coefficient is negative one. Okay, also a real number. Then the constant term here is also a value one, which is also a real number. So you will see that all these number here all are real number and we call it as real coefficient that means the values the coefficients are values huh? all right are real value real number so we call as call them as real coefficient so when you're having a quadratic equation or cubic equation with real coefficient you will see that your complex roots so all these are complex root because your answer got i right okay so you will see that the complex root appear in conjugate pair So that means uh, the sign for the i, the imaginary part, is different only. Okay, so they appear in conjugate pair. This, this is the meaning. Alright, okay, so you must know that with the equation with real coefficient, then when you want to solve for the root, the roots will appear in conjugate pair. Because you can see that the formula got plus and minus. Uh, that's why automatically they are in the conjugate pair as the answer. Alright, so this is what we have for part number one. Okay, so if you continue to part number two. Okay, so part number two, what do we have? We are having z square minus 2iz minus 5 equals to 0. So you have z square minus 2iz, okay, then minus 5 equals to 0. Alright, so if you look at z square and z, this is actually a quadratic equation also. Okay, then now the coefficient of z square is 1. The coefficient of z is negative 2i. The coefficient of z power 0 is negative 5. So I just want to let you know that this is a, this is b, and this is c. When you want to apply the formula for the quadratic equation. Okay, so again, please take note also. For this one, this is not a real coefficient. Okay, so this is not a real coefficient because your b is negative 2i. So when you're having non-real coefficient, then later your answer will not appear in conjugate pair. Alright, but the method that you find out is still the same. Okay, alright, so I'm going to find out the z now. So again, what is the z? z will be negative b plus minus square root, then b square minus 4ac, then divided by 2a. Okay, so you still apply the formula here, and now you need to try to simplify all, everything here. Lah. Alright, so by using the concept about the complex number that you learned before, so you try to simplify it. So you have 2i plus minus square root negative 4. Okay, i square is negative 1, right? So multiply with 4, you get negative 4. Then plus 20 divided by 2. Okay, then after that, what do you get? So 2i plus minus square root 16 you get a 4 then divided by 2 so if you try to expand this into two answer you will have your answer which is 2 plus i another one is negative 2 plus i so this will be your final answer Okay, so to get the answer, it is not hard, just that um, you need to know how to simplify all the terms, okay, all the important concepts in complex number only. Okay, so if you have a look for this one, um, you will see that the sign for the imaginary part are the same. Okay, therefore, this is not in a conjugate pair. Alright.
Why it is not in the conjugate pair for your answer? Because this one, the B is not the real coefficient. Therefore, it does not appear in conjugate pair for the root. But for example one, part one, you see that all are real coefficient. Therefore, your final answer for the root actually is in conjugate pair. Alright, so that's the meaning. And this concept is a very important concept that you need to know because in exam, right, most of the time they will need you to apply this concept or idea okay, to answer the question. Like this example don't have, like, but maybe in other complex number example, they usually will want you to use this concept to answer. Like. Alright, so it is a very important concept, although it is very small, okay, but it is a very important concept. Alright, okay, so if no problem, then I will want you to spend some time to solve part number three. So for part number three, they want you to solve this equation. Again, it is a quadratic equation, and I think it is very obvious that you can see like, the b. Okay, the b here is not the real coefficient. Therefore, your final answer will not appear in a pair of conjugate. All right, but by applying the same method that I showed you just now, the answer that you get for part number three should be 1 minus cube, uh, sorry, square root of 3i. Another answer is negative 1 minus square root of 3i. So this will be the answer for part 3. Alright, so please spend some time to solve it and see whether you can get this answer or not.